Orsanko is the guardian of water quality for the Ohio River. Orsanko is an agency that helps to bring other agencies together. We are always watching, we're always scanning, always protecting. Orsanko stands for the Ohio River Valley Water Sanitation Commission, but it really stands for so much more. Clean water, for fishing, for boating, for drinking, for life. The health of the Ohio River Basin depends on Orsanko and has since 1948. Orsanko is an interstate agency that develops, designs, implements water pollution control programs for the Ohio River on behalf of the eight states that created us back in 1948. It's a very big job. One of America's greatest natural resources, the Ohio River, begins in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at the confluence of the Allegheny and Monongahela Rivers. The Ohio then travels almost a thousand miles to the Mississippi River, where it triples the size of the Mississippi at their confluence in Cairo, Illinois. Any way you consider it, the Ohio is awesome. It collects the combined drainage of 10 major river basins and covers a watershed of more than 200,000 square miles, more than four times the size of Ohio. 25 million people live in the Ohio River watershed, and 5 million of them rely on the Ohio as their daily drinking water source. The river teems with wildlife, including 130 species of fish, while supporting agriculture, coal mining, manufacturing, natural gas development, petrochemical refining, and power production. Because of the vastness of the 981 miles, some sections it's highly industrialized, other sections of the river it's basically agricultural, very rural. The Ohio River provides drinking water for millions. Industry uses the water. We also have power plants that use the water, so its water quality is of vital importance to all the water users. But in 1977, the Ohio River, its people, and Orsanko faced another powerful threat. A massive release of carbon tetrachloride contaminated drinking water on the Ohio and Kanawha rivers. This large spill traveled into the Ohio River and went undetected for over a week. Several drinking water utilities uh, had this chemical pass through their system and subsequently out to their residents and in their communities. As a result of that, the newly formed US EPA and Orsanko got together and formed a monitoring network so that we could actively and routinely monitor the volatile contaminants. Orsanko went to work and in partnership with drinking water utilities and the newly created US Environmental Protection Agency, developed a groundbreaking cooperative program to detect dangerous volatile chemicals to protect water quality. It's called the Organics Detection System, the ODS. The ODS is a series of analytical instruments that are owned by Orsanko and used by drinking water utilities and industries up and down the river to protect the drinking water quality for more than five million people. The ODS has three components. First, analytical. The primary component is our piece of equipment that is able to strip out and identify any volatile compounds 24-7. The next component of the ODS, coordination. The value of the organics detection system lies in its coordination that is provided by Orsanko and the drinking water utilities themselves. Anything that's in the water moves from upstream to downstream. The detection that occurs at one station will eventually move downstream to the next. The coordination occurs by communicating that information to the downstream drinking water utilities. The final component of the ODS, response. The response component of the ODS is really what happens if there is a spill. So that's when we get involved, notify all the people who could be impacted. It's coming right at us, a 60 mile long plume of polluted water floating down the Ohio River. Contaminated water making its way right here into the Tri-State. Officials first detected this chemical in Cincinnati at seven o'clock this morning. It's called crude MCHM. In January 2014, a coal processing chemical, MCHM, contaminated the water supply of Charleston, West Virginia and spread into the Ohio River. But Orsanko and the ODS were there. Tracking the chemical spill, coordinating the response, ensuring the safety of drinking water for millions. Officials insist our water will be safe to drink. Schulte says consider your drinking water just fine. There is no possibility of contamination of those systems. While a full half of Orsanko's budget comes from its eight member states, federal grant money funds a renovation of the ODS that began in 2009. 
upgraded communications, new instrumentation, and the latest software will make the ODS more accurate, advanced, and adept at protecting the Ohio River watershed and its residents. As it did in 1977, as it does today. The renovation is going to help modernize it's going to help to get state-of-the-art technologies involved for the organics detection system, thus better protecting the Ohio River water quality, protecting the drinking water intakes, and protecting the people in the basin. We have concerted efforts by Orsenko and each of our drinking water utilities. There is communication between them, so if there is a potential threat, they are notified and it benefits everybody with the ODS. It's one of the premier monitoring stations in the country. Today, Orsanco continues to lead the way in interstate water pollution monitoring, assessment, and abatement programs. The innovation of the ODS stands guard as the premier program of its kind in the world, a success story and a sentinel, protecting this vibrant water resource for us and for generations to come. Our work matters because the quality of the water matters. You know the quality of the water is safe because Orsenko and the ODS program are out there monitoring actively, continuously. The organics detection system is really an unsung hero of water quality monitoring in the Ohio River Basin. It detects things that aren't reported, that aren't seen, that aren't smelled, but could cause a problem if it went undetected. Orsenko's ODS helps protect the five million people who drink the water from the Ohio River.